Hello friends, welcome to today's operating system class and in this class we will see the mutex locks which is otherwise called as spin locks and in today's class we will see what is mutex locks and the functions uh, that is the acquire and release functions in mutex locks and advantages and disadvantages of this same lock. The mutual exclusion is simply called as mutex. And this is the very simplest software tool to solve the critical section problem. So the mutex locks is used to, to protect the critical region and it prevent the race conditions. So here in the mutex locks there are two functions first one is acquire function and second one is release function. So the purpose of acquire function is to get the lock before entering the critical section. Okay, the process must get the lock before entering the critical section. So, this is the entry section, hence the acquire function is here. Acquire function is in the entry section. Okay, when it release the locks, that is when the process release the lock by using the release function, when it exit the critical section, hence the release function is here. Release function is in the exist section and this is the critical section. So, while entering the critical section, the process should lock before entering the critical section by using the acquire function and once the critical section is being executed, after that the process should release the lock by using the release function. Next, let us see the acquire and release functions of mutex locks. As we have already seen the acquire function used to, to uh, acquire the lock that is get the lock and release function is used to, to release the lock. Okay, here the available is a boolean variable which is common for all the processors okay, and initially the value is true. And let us see the definition of acquire function first, acquire after that the while condition is here, while not available. So initially the process, uh, initially the available value is true, isn't it? So the not available value is false here. Once the condition is false, then what will happen? It will come out of the while loop, then it will make the available as false. The process will make the available as false. Okay, after that it will enter into the critical section, that is the process locked the entry of critical section for other processes, right? This is what acquire function. And next one is release function. See, after executing this critical section, the process should release this lock by using this release lock function, isn't it? A release available equal to true. So, initially it was false, initially it was false. So, after that, the process will change this available value into true so that the other process can enter into the critical region. Okay. And next let us see how the mutex locks will work for two processes. For example, this is process 1 and this is process 2. Okay. Initially the available value equal to false because available is the common variable for all the processes, isn't it? So this is initially false. Okay. When the process 1 enters into the critical region, that is the process 1 wanted to execute the critical region. So, initially it execute this acquire function. So, what is the initial value of available? That is false. While not available, that means if not available is true, that means available is false, isn't it? So, initially the value is false, the condition is false, hence the control will come out from the while loop what is this available equal to false. Now, the available value will be changed to false by process 1. Okay? So, the entry section is completed by making available equal to false by the process 1. Okay? And process 2 will also come now. Okay? See, when process 2 comes, it will enter the while loop, isn't it? So, while loop, what is the value here? Not available. Not available is true now. Not available value is true because the available value is false. Hence, not available is true. Hence, 
this process 2 will struck into this while loop it will not come out hence the busy wait is uh, here. That means the process 2 will continuously executing this particular statement that is infinity loop until the available uh, value will be changed to true ok because the process 1 changed this particular available into false because currently the process 2 is executing this particular critical section is not it ok. See if process 1 completed its execution then the process 1 release this log available equal to true now ok. Now after executing this critical section the process 1 change the available variable into true sorry true then the process 2 here this particular condition will become false ok not available equal to false hence the process 2 will change this available equal to false then the process 2 will enter into the critical section. So, this is how the two process will use this mutex lock for executing the critical section. Here the two functions acquire function and release functions that must be performed atomically. Atomically means without any interruption these two functions should be executed. Why? Because here only we are having the variable available. This is a common variable that should be shared between all the processes, is not it? So, if one process change the value of available, the other process should not be allowed to change the same value. Hence, these two functions should be allowed atomically without any interruption that is non preemptive functions. Hence, the mutex locks are also implemented by using hardware mechanism also. The hardware mechanism we have already seen in the previous lectures itself. Disadvantage of mutex. The very big drawback here is the busy waiting. Busy waiting means first one process is entering the critical section. We see the process 1 which already execute this acquire lock and this is currently executing the critical section. Currently executing the critical section. And the second process P2 will come here. P2 tries to execute this acquire lock. Then what will happen? It has to execute this while condition here. It will struck into the infinity loop because the condition is true here not available is true is not it. So, this will continuously execute this particular while loop until the available is turned to true by the process 1 ok. So, the infinity loop will be uh, here in the while loop that is the loop will execute continuously in the acquire call. This type of mutex locks is also called as spin lock. Spin lock means the process spins while waiting for the lock become available. Okay. So, this is otherwise called the mutex locks is otherwise called as spin lock. And what will happen? The continuous loop is clearly a problem in the real multiprogramming systems because here we are having only one single CPU and all the other processes are programming or shared this particular single CPU. So, what will happen? Many CPU cycles will be wasted. This is the problem of uh, mutex locks that is the busy waiting. Advantage of mutex locks. Here the spin lock itself is an advantage of mutex locks. If we do not have spin lock means we have to move to context switch. The context switch is somewhat complicated when compared to spin lock because it consumes more CPU time. For executing context switch it consumes more CPU time. That means if the lock is required for very short time then spin locks are very much useful. Okay, when come to multiprocessor system see one thread can spin one processor and the another thread can perform the critical section of another processor. Okay. So, the spin lock is advantage of mutex locks. Up to this we have seen the definition of mutex locks. 
and the two functions which are available in the matrix slugs that is uh, acquire function and release functions. After this we have seen the advantage and disadvantage of matrix slugs. And students uh, write your answer that why the matrix slugs are called as spin lugs. You write your answer in the comment box. And in the next class we will see another important topic from second unit. Thank you.